Salvatore Dali was a Spanish artist who lived from 1904 to 1989. He began painting at a very early age and he was inspired by the much older Renaissance painters and their mastery of realism. Realism is a type of painting which aspires to um, recreate an object exactly as it appears to the eye, such as what you might see in a photograph. He also learned to paint in the Impressionist style, which was very popular during his time. He created a good number of Cubist paintings over the years as well. Beginning in 1929, everything changed because he became a chief proponent of the Surrealist art movement. Surrealism is a type of art in which ideas, images, and objects are combined in an unusual and dreamlike way. These images challenge our ideas about reality and they can often seem quite bizarre. The persistence of memory painted in 1931 is arguably Dali's most famous painting. It challenges our notions about time. Dali frequently included butterflies in his paintings, which to him were a symbol of transformation. Many of his paintings include unusual images of animals, such as elephants with elongated legs. Check out these tigers. They're leaping out of a fish, which is jumping out of a pomegranate. I mean, that's crazy, right? I love this painting because it's clearly a face, but it's also an apartment. Check out the eyes inside the picture frames and notice how the nose and the lips are pieces of furniture. Now look at this painting of musical instruments which appear to be melting into the sand. Look closely at this painting and see what unusual objects you can find in it. Dali's paintings are highly prized in the art world. In 2011, this painting of his sold for $21.5 million. At least a few of Dali's paintings contain images of melting faces. Dali was well known for his bizarre ideas and controversial and eccentric personality. One of my favorite Dali stories is that in 1955, he showed up at the Sorbonne, which is a French university, um, driving a Rolls Royce that was full of cauliflower. Another Dali story that I love is that he would go to restaurants and instead of paying for his food, he would leave his signature and he would tell the waiter or waitress that his signature was worth so much money that it would pay for his food and so he didn't need to give them money. Please support me by liking this video, subscribing to my channel, and checking out the other amazing art lessons and art tutorials on my channel, Rainbow Parrot Art.